Tana Club's right back and left back be two of their most important players as they go on to win the league? Well, that's the way it's looking for Bayer Leverkusen because they're on their way to capturing their first Bundesliga title and their fullback duel has been at the heart of their title charge. Jeremy Fringpong and Alejandro Grimaldo have been two of their most productive and essential players this season. The tandem have been vital to Leverkusen's success as they have accounted for 15 goals and 15 assists in the German top flight. And they're both playing at a world-class level. So how did Bayer Leverkusen's dynamic duo of Fringpong and Grimaldo come to be? Well, Jeremy Fringpong's career began at Manchester City. He and his family moved from Amsterdam to a suburb east of Manchester called Clayton when he was six years old. After impressing at his local club, scouts from Blackburn, Bolton, and Liverpool all offered him trials, but they were too far away and the Fringpongs couldn't afford the travel expenses. However, Man City eventually came in with an offer and at the age of nine, Jeremy joined the club. Now, it took him some time to adjust to a higher level of play, but eventually Jeremy got to the standard and he flourished. He played his first full season with City's under 23s when he was around 18, 19 years old. And after that campaign, Celtic came calling. And in September of 2019, the Scottish Giants would pay around 350,000 pounds for Jeremy. And at the age of 18, he would take his talents to Scotland. Jeremy hit the ground running with Celtic and in his first season, he helped the Hoops win the treble. The following campaign, Jeremy was a locked in starter, but he would only last half the season because in January of 2021, Bayer Leverkusen would offer roughly 11 million euros for his services, a fee that Celtic couldn't refuse. So after just 51 appearances in a little over a year in Scotland, Jeremy was off to Germany. Now, before we continue with the video, I need you to hit that thumbs up. It would mean the world helps the channel grow more than you know. So if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Please, please, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the video, subscribe as well. Thank you. Continue. Now, the 2021-22 campaign was his first full season with Bayer Leverkusen, and Jeremy had his best professional season yet. He became Divok Self's number one right back and tallied two goals and eight assists in all comps. And then last year, Jeremy performed even better. After the hiring of new manor Xabi Alonso, he blossomed in his new role as a right wing back, bombing forward, scoring goals, and getting assists as he finished with eight goals and seven assists in the Bundesliga. Now, Jeremy's already close to surpassing those numbers this season, but before we get to that, we need his partner in crime. So how did Alejandro Grimaldo end up at Leverkusen. Alejandro Grimaldo's career began at his boyhood club of Valencia. But after a couple of years, he was recruited to join Barcelona's famous La Masia Academy. And after climbing the ranks unbelievably quick, he made his Barca B debut at just 15 years and 349 days old, which was a Segunda División record. However, despite making over 90 appearances for the second team, Alejandro was never able to make a senior appearance for Barcelona, which was due to two reasons. One, injuries, and two, the signing of Jordi Alba back in 2012. And we all know how Jordi Alba's career turned out at Barcelona. So in December of 2015, Portuguese powerhouse Benfica paid roughly 1.5 million euros for Alejandro. And he was off to the city of Lisbon. Alejandro was 20 years old when he arrived in Portugal and initially signed a four year deal, but he enjoyed his time so much that he doubled that and ended up playing eight seasons for As Aguias, or in English, the Eagles. Alejandro made over 300 appearances for Benfica and in that time was able to tally approximately 27 goals and 66 assists. The 2018 19 season saw him match four goals and 12 assists in the league. In the following three campaigns, Alejandro continued to produce. His efforts helped Benfica win four Premier League titles and the 2017 Casa de Portugal. Now, Alejandro had been putting up some good numbers, but last season, he took his game to a different level. In the 2022-23 campaign, Alejandro had eight goals and 16 assists in all comps, which is incredible for a left back. As he whipped in some delicious crosses and then banged in some nasty goals, he had a five and 11 in the league and added two and five in the Champions League. As he helped Benfica make the quarterfinals for a second straight season. And prior to that, As Aguias hadn't made the Champions League quarterfinals since the 2015-16 season. Despite Alejandro's very successful time in Portugal, he decided it was time for a new challenge. 
So he left Benfica this summer on a free and inked a four-year deal with Bayer Leverkusen. Looking back, it's pretty insane that Benfica got nothing for him. A left back that could do things like this. It was great business from the Germans to get him for free, but I don't think Xabi Alonso, Leverkusen, or their fans thought that he would be this good because he is doing bits, literally tearing up the Bundesliga. So that is how Jeremy Frimpong from Man City to Celtic and Alejandro Grinaldo from Barca to Benfica ended up as teammates for Bayer Leverkusen this season. Two players with completely different stories. Two players that play the fullback position totally differently, but similarly are very dangerous in the attack. And when you put them together, unstoppable. This season, Fringpong and Grimaldo have been two of the best outside backs in the world. They haven't just helped Leverkusen to the best defensive record in Germany, as they have only conceded 16 goals in the league, but they are scoring and assisting like their wingers. Fringpong currently sits at seven goals and six assists in the Bundesliga, and his counterpart Grimaldo has done even better, netting eight goals and tallying nine assists. Those are like winger cam striker numbers. You normally don't see outside backs contributing like that, and it isn't just one of them, it's both of them. 15 goals and 15 assists between the two in the Bundesliga so far this season. In all comps, 19 goals and 19 assists from the pair. That's unbelievable. Like, seriously, come on, man. Crazy. Now, Xabi Alonso's system in the 3-5-2 formation has allowed Frank Pong and Grimaldo to push forward and get more involved in the attack as they aren't playing as traditional fullbacks or rather as wingbacks, which plays into both of their hands perfectly because they're both attack-minded and can cause havoc for opposing teams' defenses, but for different reasons. 23-year-old Fring Pong is so quick, fast, explosive, very good cross for the ball, and if you're not careful, he will run slash dance right past you. Whereas Grimaldo, on the other hand, a bit older at 20, is more about finesse, technique, and skill. He isn't gonna beat you for pace like Fring Pong, but his left foot is lethal his ability to pick a pass is exceptional and if you give him any space around the box he's gonna make you pay also he's a dead ball specialist and that is what is so intriguing about these two what makes each of them dangerous in the attack is different normally when you check the scores of games you look for the big name attackers to see if they scored or assisted for example liverpool you look to see did mo salah score or assist for man city the KDB or Holland score or assist. But when I check the scores of Leverkusen games, I'm expecting Fringpong or Grimaldo to score or an assist, which isn't normal. Expecting outside backs to be consistently scoring goals or getting assists. The season these two are having and them being this fullback tag team reminds me a lot of Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andy Robertson for Liverpool in the 2019-20 season, where TAA had four goals and 13 assists in the Premier League and Robo tallied two goals and 12 assists in the league. As the two were assisting machines, dropping dimes everywhere as Liverpool went on to win their first Premier League title in 30 years. But what's crazier about this situation is Bayer Leverkusen is trying to win the club's first Bundesliga title ever and there are still 13 matches remaining so Fringpong and Grimaldo could easily outdo Trent and Robo and they could get close to 20 goal contributions each 20 goal contributions each astonishing or in German Estonli now, despite Fringpong and Grimaldo being so involved in Leverkusen's attack, they've only connected with each other twice, and it was in back-to-back -back games early in the season. On match day seven, Grimaldo, with a cheeky little touch around the defender, picked out an unmarked Fringpong on the back post, and he tapped it home. So on match day eight, Fringpong returned the favor as he pulled back across that found its way to Grimaldo, who smashed the ball home. But yeah, that's the only two times in the Bundesliga that they've set each other up which I thought was pretty surprising. When I was doing the research for this video, I thought it'd be like closer to five or six times. But regardless of that, their consistency this season has been sublime. There have only been four Bundesliga matches so far this season that neither one of them have gotten a goal or an assist. Match day 13, match day 14, match day 19, and last week's match, versus Mainz. Frimpong and Grimaldo's 15 goals and 15 assists in the league have accounted for a little over 
50% of Leverkusen's goals. Imagine your outside backs being that influential in your club's attack. Going back to TAA and Robbo during the 2019-20 season, they were responsible for 36% of Liverpool's goals. Now, Frank Bong and Grimaldo were playing more advanced than the Liverpool boys were, and obviously this season isn't complete, so that number could drop. But still, it's mind-blowing how a pair of fullbacks could be so important to a club scoring goals. And it isn't just as easy as playing a 3-5-2 and you have wingbacks and, and they would be doing what Frank Pong and Grimaldo are doing. What these two are doing this season is extraordinary. And you have to give lots of credit to Xavi and his tactics, putting these guys in positions to thrive. I'm not saying they couldn't have been this good without him because they're fantastic players. But take Grimaldo, for example, because of his performances this past season, he just made his Spain debut last November. At nearly 30 years old, he makes his national team debut. And of course, he had to get an assist. But it just goes to show Xavi has played a huge role in their development and emergence this season, utilizing them in a way that brings out their absolute best. Jeremy Frimpong and Alejandro Grimaldo, the Dutchman and the Spaniard, have been a sensation this season. The dynamic wingback duo are scoring goals and getting assists at a clip that isn't expected from players in their position. But they're doing it anyway, as they try and ensure that Bayer Leverkusen is the club lifting the Meisterschale at the end of the season, which would make them the first winners of the Bundesliga not named Bayern or Dortmund since the 2003-04 season, when Wolfsburg of all teams shocked Germany and won their first Bundesliga title. So if you're interested to learn about how Wolfsburg won their only league title, then check out the video that's on screen and similarly to Leverkusen having their dynamic duo, Wolfsburg had a three-headed monster that was incredible, and you probably haven't heard about them, and you should, because they were special.